All right, man. We're we're leaving for our trip. We're gonna be we're gonna be gone for a month, so I can't forget my coffee. So I love you. We'll see we'll see you. Okay. Oh wait. Yeah. Where's milk? Oh. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll get some. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Love Bye. you. Okay. All right. Here we go. Got the truck, camper loaded up. Stance is pretty nice. We're getting out of here. All right, our first state, West Virginia. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right, we're in the Loves down here in West Virginia. And uh, first stop of the day. So far, so good. Everything seems to be riding all right. We stopped, got us something to eat, got some fuel. And. Yeah, pretty pleased with the way everything's doing right now. The wheels, I've been, I checked air pressure, they're doing good. A little, looks like a little bit more weight in the front than I'd like. Might do a little switching around with that, but short of that, I think we're doing all right. What do you think? Yep. Let's get this show on the road. Welcome to Virginia, our second state. It's all downhill from here, like literally. All right, well, I was just doing a walk around on the truck, and uh, this Hensley hitch here. See, it's got load bars down here, and those bend to take weight off the rear of the truck. That bar right here is a support, so it goes on top of this hitch, and it goes back here and hooks up right there. Well, part of this one is missing. So what has happened is the clevis that went in here the hit the R pin must have come out. That pin popped out, and this has been riding like this. I thought I heard something rattling. So that comes off like that. So, at least we still have this piece. I'm just going to have to, I'm gonna to have to figure out a way to lock that in like that. Or get a hold of Hensley and see if I can't get a hitch sent, or a stabilizer piece sent to us. I mean, it was riding all right like that. But, nevertheless, that's not good. We want this thing, I mean, really, that's the hardest part of the trip that we just went through. We really want that thing to work at full performance, though, so. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. It's RVing. It's kind of like trucking. You just kind of figure it out as you go, I guess. Could be lucky enough for it to be laying around in the parking lot. I heard it going through that first tunnel. I, I was wondering what that rattling sound was, so. It's hard telling when that fell off. I don't know. Just pay it by ear. Got a nice uh, view out here, though. Get that sun to go down a little bit. It'd be real nice. All right. Well, I'll update you soon once I figure out what to, how I'm going to fix that. All right. All right. Here's the deal. I got a hold of Hensley's 24-hour emergency hotline. They said, do not haul their camper with a strut bar missing they told me to go buy a regular hitch and they'll ship this bar right here to me right to my campsite well we're across street from the ta so i'm gonna walk in here talk to the shop manager and see if they can't weld me up uh or cut me a bar or whatever i can make this work so we'll see keep you updated on this uh ongoing situation it's always got to be something fun, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, life's an adventure.
those shavings are hot on the feet. There you go. This is working. All right, well, the only thing now is see if this fits, I guess. Slide it in there. Can you see? I can't see nothing. Okay, yeah, but don't you want it to see what you're doing? Yeah. So this, this part of it right here is hitting. It actually should be beveled out a little bit, notched even. So, I'm gonna drill that hole a little bit more, I think. Or hack that corner off of the hacksaw. Probably, probably should do the hacksaw. work now. Hope so. No, I think that's it. Voila. Do you have to put the pin in it? Yeah. Good job. And so Hensley, if you want to hire me for an on-site like emergency guy, Man, if we can work out some numbers, we can make this happen. Okay, so on the Hensley hitch system, you have this strut bar. So this piece right here doesn't go like this. A strut bar just creates top end support. Well, it's, this is just a tube right here. Fits up in here. There's a rod. It fits over top of and then a nut, a real big nut at the end for adjustment. It rests against. Well, that's just clevis pin, R pin on the inside. On this side, it fell off somewhere along the way. This, the top adjuster part of the strut was running down along the load bars and uh, chafing them up. So it had been off for a minute. So what happened is this piece came up gone. It just fell out. I figure that R pin come out, this pin worked its way loose, and that just dropped out. If you're affiliated with Hensley Hitch in any way, shape, or form, you need to shut this video off because I'm going to tell you how I replace this right now. I went to Rural King. I bought some metal conduit. It was actually, well, it's actually a water pipe, black water pipe. It's threaded at both ends. I went over to the TA truck stop next door, had them use a cutoff wheel, and they hacked the ends off right at the threads, drilled a hole up here. Put that clevis pin through. What's done is done. Now I gotta adjust it yet. It's still a little loose. That's gonna work. That's gonna get us to South Carolina. Then the Hensley Hitch is gonna send us a new one. So that's the deal. Baby, please tell me that's a corona in that cup. I love you. You're, the, you're awesome. Are you having fun? Tons of fun. Boondocking in the parking lot. You wanna talk about Hillbilly? This is Hillbilly Deluxe. And we got the awning out. Got a Corona in our hand. We're doing projects, playing with power tools. How great is that? Well, how much fun did you have doing it? I didn't have any fun. Oh. But you did. I'm gonna give you our anniversary present right in front of God and everybody. <laughs> I love it. 
Oh man, what's that from? Shameless. Yeah, our favorite <laughs> show, huh? Where did you get that at? Oh, Stephanie helped me. 